Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are starting stage 9, known as Curve Bomb. See those arrow panels on there? What'll happen if you kick an, a bomb across those arrow panels is that it'll actually make it turn along the line of that arrow. So, the one that... I just heard someone get the kick item. Um, the faster you get the kick, the better, because you'll be able to take advantage of it. But otherwise, this stage is a pretty basic stage. And, uh, but this, as for this walkthrough, this is going to be the last part, unfortunately. But what a walkthrough it's been. I actually recorded all these parts in one day. Not, not edited them, of course, but just recorded them. But I haven't done that since I first started making walkthroughs. Because I always used to record all the parts in a single day, which was, like, way too much. But I was just doing so well today, and I'm still doing pretty well today. So I was like, yeah, let's just keep going, let's just keep going, and here we are. <laughs> and I was also surprised uh, with this walkthrough that I was able to beat the game without a game over. Uh, that's, like I said in the uh, walkthrough when I got to that point, that I didn't want to cut until I got back over to the boss to prove that I wasn't using save states or anything like that, because, you know, that, then it would be very cheap. Uh, I mean, I, then there would be no sense of achievement, so to speak, with that sort of thing. Because, um, as, as I said early in the walkthrough, my idea was to hopefully get uh, and beat the game without a game over. Wait, did I say it early in the walkthrough? Maybe I thought I wanted to say it early in the walkthrough, but didn't. Oh, and I, I still haven't showed the arrows. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's how the arrows work. It just makes them do. Oh, it just make, makes them do a random. Well, not a random turn. In the direction of the uh, uh, arrows that they go. And I think, yeah, blue blue bomber there could have saved himself by using the kick and kicking it. Ugh. Not good AI, man. Not good AI. <laughs> anyway, let's just continue on with the stage. And as I said. It's a pretty basic stage overall, uh, except for those arrow panels. So you can play this one just as you did with stage one, unless you want to uh, try and trick your opponents using those arrow panels. Like they aren't even like conveyor belts; they're, they're just literally only affect bombs when they are. Um, oh shoot! 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 I have this one. No, not this one. They only affect bombs when they're being kicked over the arrow panels. I hate that version of the skull, you know, and, and when it makes you drop bombs. It's that, that version is especially bad when you collect a lot of bomb power-ups, like the ones that I just grabbed there. <laughs> but at the same time, you can't not grab them, because, you know, you, you need that sort of advantage to try and beat your opponents, of course. Can, oh, can the red one up there drop bombs? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think it can. Yeah, no way it can, it's just very small bombs. I, was, I wasn't really paying attention there. Because, you know, when you see a bomb blast, it goes across the screen quite often, and <laughs> it usually catches your attention, but I guess the, the bomb blasts were so small that it, it was just like a non-issue to even see. And why did it go in that direction? I have no idea. It doesn't matter, it's dead. I win the match. <laughs> Next one, let's go skip victory screen. Clicky, click, click, click. Wait, wait, should I... Should I be, like, changing my Bomberman's color just for the fun of it in these stages as well? I'm gonna change to green and go over to, uh, stage 10, the Matango Jump. Um, in this stage, you have something very special. If you press the Y button... Oh, even your bombs turn green, that's nice. If you press the Y button, you can jump on top of hard or soft blocks. This, the stage gimmick makes it absolutely impossible to be trapped in any way, shape, or form. You can even jump across from one side of the screen to the other. So, this stage is based entirely upon tricking your opponent into getting themselves trapped, or I should say jumping into a bomb blast or something like that. There are no remote control power-ups that I know of. Oh! And there's also a little uh, cheat code, I just remembered this. Um, at the title screen, I wasn't paying attention at all because I was reading. <laughs> um, enter battle mode by pressing A on controller on on a controller in socket five on the multi tap. You know the special multi tap adapter. For the duration of the game, you can then jump on any stage 
by pressing Y in every zone except for 2 and 3. Yeah, I shouldn't have been reading while I was playing, but alas, <laughs> I had to explain that. Don't worry, I'll win the next two matches. <laughs> but first, I should make sure Black Bomber goes down. <laughs> if I can. Hey. Uh, it's definitely a good idea to stay near the center, if at all possible. Uh, and I mean, it has the most mushrooms that you can collect stuff from. That's why I recommend going there. Oh, and you can be trapped into an infinite infinite loop by... Oh, no, 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 do not get... Eh. You, can, you can get trapped by jumping in an infinite loop if a mushroom decides to regrow while you're jumping across a straight line of mushrooms, and you can be trapped there until someone blasts you, or actually blasts you free, and... Dang this invisibility, and I can't pass it off to someone else, can I? Because I was touching Black Bomber there. Arr, well, that's okay. I'll just grab one of the many items strewn about the stage. And I still have to kill off Black Bomber. That is an absolute must. And you can jump across, I should say, jump over items and bombs and stuff like that as well. And Black Bomber is dead, apparently, so that works in my favor. And hopefully I'll be able to take care of Blue shortly as well. Maximum power! <laughs> the stage is loaded with... How did he manage to do that? The stage is loaded with uh, powerful power-ups. So I guess that's the idea of the stage, is to power yourself up to as, as high as you possibly can and try and decimate your opponents despite the them able to uh, dodge practically anything that you can throw out there. Like... I just got a power bomb right there off the bat. <laughs> it's stuff like that that you get really early, and you see, you can you even get the kick in this one. Wow, there is no way to trap an opponent normally. <laughs> they literally they literally have to be dumb enough to well not dumb enough. They literally have to be tricked into hitting a uh, I should say jumping into a bomb blast or something like that. I bet you that you could even dodge your own bomb blasts as well by uh, jumping over them based on how, how long you stay in the air. I betcha. <laughs> that's just my guess, though. I, I never tried that to my knowledge, but that's just an educated guess, I guess you could say. I guess I said guess three times in a row there. <laughs> um, that's really it for this stage. It's one of the more fun stages because you can hyperly jump across the stage like that and oh yeah baby <laughs> trick the black one and that means victory is within sight at least I think it is I'm praying it is I must win no wait is blue gonna save himself or what oh <laughs> gonna jump oh okay it, it's like the computers have a very very delayed reaction to whatever you throw at them <laughs> what the heck happened there I guess it doesn't really matter because I won. Yahoo! Next up is stage 11. And it is known as the... Wait, what? What? Is there... On my list, there is 12 stages. Huh? And I'm sure that I got the right list. Is there more stages that I could unlock? Hold on a sec. I gotta look this up. I got it. I got it. You're... It's, a, it's apparently a cheat code thing that you have to... Uh, apparently press the X button repeatedly on the title screen for six seconds or so. But I cannot seem to get that work working at all so here's what i'm gonna be doing here first i'm setting that code to reset the stage to have the sudden death thing and then oh just look at this i got the cheats um you have to have one off and one on otherwise it'll kind of glitch the thing and it won't let you choose the other one so anyway there you go that those are the codes to access the uh last two battle mode stages here and Yes, I'm gonna have to reset all of these things, unfortunately. Uh-huh, and there it is. Now watch. Can't select it. Oh, no, you can't select it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the, the glitch thing with using these codes that you, you only have access to one stage at a time. But that's okay. After I beat this one, I will just uh, go on over to the other code and swap it over and I'll be playing stage 12. What the heck is- Whoa! <laughs> I've never played this before. Oh my god, it's actually leaving trails- I mean burnt trails on the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never played either of these two battle stages before. This is awesome! <laughs> I might have to give this one another try, actually. Oh my. So there's a... Oh wow. <laughs> so everyone's got maximum power and everything in this one. This reminds me of the stage 10 in the original Bomberman on the SNES. I am going to... Oh yeah. Oh my god. And that automatically kicks it too? Like what? So... Oh wow. <laughs> I just killed myself there, but I'm experimenting. Oh, it's a draw anyway. That works. <laughs> I'll, I haven't been able to show you what the draw screen looks like. Now you know. <laughs> All right, another battle we go, and I am so excited to be playing these. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know what, you guys. Just go right ahead and kill yourselves while I wander around aimlessly trying to avoid your blasts. Or I can accidentally kill somebody, which works too. So, how? I guess you would have like invincibility as long as you're flashing after hitting those, I should say after touching the railings of the um, outer rails. Like, they're like ropes or something like that on a uh, boxing um, stage thing. You know what I'm talking about. I can't seem to get my words together here. Probably because I'm excited. I'm gonna play that one more time, actually. <laughs> Just because it goes really, really fast. And it's like, yeah, why not? It's, it's fast, so why not? <laughs> Woo! Okay, what happens if I do it there? Okay, it actually springs you down the lines. It doesn't, it doesn't make you spring over hard, hard blocks, it just makes you go down the uh, horizontal lines that are already open. That's good to know, I suppose. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, nope. Nope, please do not. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, this is a really fast stage, so... I don't see uh, this taking up too much of your time here. <laughs> Oh wow, this is pretty awesome. I can't believe I was never, I mean, I never played these before. I've seen them in the list and I was like, they seem familiar. I, I must have read them as a kid or something like that and just never got around to like figuring out how to unlock them or looking up how to unlock them or something like that. Anyway, that's it for stage 11. Now let's go to the cheats. Hopefully I'll be able to toggle it like that and Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's stage 12. Oh, I can't go to stage 11. Oh, can I go to stage 1? What, what the heck? <laughs> it's going, it's glitching with a graphic from another stage. Alright, stage 12. Oh, the last stage was apparently called Jin Jin Deathmatch, which makes a lot of sense. Can I jump on this one? Well, no, I guess I can't besides the trampolines. And this one is apparently called... Boyon Boyon Jump 2. That, that must be a reference to the first game's Boyon Boyon Jump. What are those blue things? I'm afraid to... There's something. Should I try... Ah! <laughs> well, not the blue things. I'm not talking about the hard blocks. I was talking about those things with the crystally thing in the center there. I guess they're like landmines or something like that in, in like in uh, World 5 or something like that. This is awesome, by the way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I definitely want to... Blue just killed himself terribly. So those trampolines, I'm sure, act just like the ones in Stage 3. Yep. So you'll have a lot more control over them than the original. Boy on, boy on. <laughs> That's for sure. No, 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 no. I don't think so. And, or I think Red One could have trapped me there <laughs> if it wanted to, but it didn't, apparently. I'm just gonna- Oh, I tried. I tried my best there. Okay, so definitely do not touch those. <laughs> uh, this is a really enclosed space here. I mean, just look at how how slowly you have to dig your way through these blocks to get items and- What the heck is- What are you doing over there, man? <laughs> and I'm gonna trap you. There we go. That, that That's for being dumb. <laughs> 
Victory goes to PK Gam. This is so much fun! <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. And I think I may actually play this one a second time because it's so easy to trap computers if I want to do it fast. <laughs> like, blue one down there. I betcha you're not gonna trap yourself, are you? Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna. There you go. <laughs> She's so stupid, seriously. Ow. <laughs> well, that wasn't stupid, I suppose. Alright, you get yourself in a corner and I'll just... Oh my. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no. Nope. Ain't gonna happen, girl. Nope, nope. <laughs> and I, I know it's a guy. <laughs> and that's the end of the stage. That's why I said I'm gonna be playing this a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna be doing a second run through this here just because it's so much shorter. Jinjin Deathmatch and the Boyon Boyon Jump 2 is going crazy fast. <laughs> okay, last battle mode stages of the game. I mean, well, last battle mode stage of the game. One more time, just for fun. That just went way, way too quickly. <laughs> yeah, I, it's way too easy to trap the computers. And I, I keep saying away a lot here. Is that, is that a bad thing? I'm not sure here. And that orange one is screwed. And I said orange again, it's red, dang it. <laughs> but it does look orange to me. And the computer just killed itself by stepping on one of those little mines. Yeah, that the reason why I touched one the first time the first time was because it was like it looked like something that was that was collectible. Like it was something that was going to give me a certain effect because when I blew it up with a bomb I should, say, I should say when I blew up one of them with a bomb it reacted as if as if I blew up an item So then I just decided like yeah, let's try picking it up. Let's see what it does and it wasn't a pickup. It was a mine <laughs> But alas that is a beginner's mistake I can't see anyone making that mistake twice on the stage especially when they appear in the exact same positioning Exact same positions, excuse me. And yeah! Ah, <laughs> um, oh, I couldn't trap the blue. Or he can just kill himself, that works too. So I guess that's all for this walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in this, uh, in another walkthrough. <laughs> I don't know why I said this again. Ah, oh, whatever. I guess I'm, I've been recording too much today. I'm all flabbergasted with the new stages. What else can I say? I'm all hyper. <laughs>